Great Drammers, it's Greg here. How are you? Blech. Greg from GreatDrams.com here with another YouTube whiskey review. This time we're taking a look at the Craig Ellicky 17 year old, which is the second rung up in the Craig Ellicky range. And basically, I'll tell you up front, it's awesome. Um, it was actually our Christmas whiskey this year, and I'm a big fan. So let's see how we get on. Something, by the way, interesting about this um, is on the packaging of this one, they look to tell you about how they use their own malt. So it's a very heavy malt, it's ground finer than anyone else's, and it adds to this big, big character that you get with every single Craig Ellicky release. So let's see if that is influencing this whiskey today. Really, really <laughs> nice, obviously. It's quite softer, it's quite smoky, it's not overpoweringly smoky by the way. When I say that, it's like a sweet smoke, like an underpinning of sulfur and smoke. It just kind of ratifies the whole process behind the Craig Ellicky brand. Here, getting caramelized uh, apples, maybe molten brown sugar, some candied orange peel. On the palate, coconut, pineapples, really exotic fruits, all coming to the fore, but still quite smooth. Slight sweetness about it, that spice hint, there's like a delicate cinnamon uh, note there as well. Um, but those limes and oranges, wow. Oh, that underpinning of sweet, uh, kind of smoky sulfur notes. Amazing. And when you go back to the nose afterwards, that sulfur note kind of pings through even stronger. But not in an off-putting way, I have to stress that. In a really well-balanced and well-integrated way. Oh. And like they, uh, like they kind of talk about, it's a challenging whiskey. And you know, it's pretty clear I've had one or two in my time. But it's not an easy to drink dram. It's not one you're going to kind of sit there and cough and splutter over. Of course, it's only 46%. But it's a challenging dram in terms of getting your head around it, getting your head around the depth, the different flavors, that kind of the texture of it as well. It gets quite thick in your mouth and oily. It's not something that you're necessarily used to from a space side, especially. Um, but an absolutely phenomenal whiskey. Um, you know, it really delivers on that uh, the distillery kind of process of using worm tubs and the actual, you know, the very expensive cooling system they are to create that sulfur, meaty, bold character that then has been matured for 17 years or at least 17 years and bottled as this, which is a fantastic whiskey. And if you have a look at the uh, packaging as well. The blue is actually a reference point or a reference colour and uh, it has come directly from the cask ends at the distillery. Uh, they all have. So the yellow of the 13, the kind of paler yellow cream of the 23, they all come from cask ends at the distillery and just kind of tie everything together in a really well-rounded brand way that mirrors the well-rounded whiskey character itself. Absolutely stunning. 